happening today. A big reveal from the Hillsborough County School District on its plans to change the time thousands of students go to school. It's a change that affects every student and their families. News Channel 8's Jana Jones is live at Wilson Middle School this morning. So, Jana, this has been a heated debate among parents. Good morning to you, Gail. Parents are fired up over this because these brand new start times would mean brand new morning routines for every family involved. And what people are the most concerned about are for those families who have more than one student. They say, look, we cannot be in two places at once when we have one kid over here and one kid over there. And they tell us that this move would be extremely inconvenient. Let's run you through that proposal and show you what it looks like. This comes from the Hillsborough County Public School Superintendent Jeff Akins. The way the school is now. The arrival and dismissal times do not allow enough time for bus, bus drivers to get students to and from school on time. In turn, this is cut into classroom time, and the district must do something to make sure each student receives the proper amount of instructional time. High school students would come in a little earlier, whereas elementary and middle school students would come in a little later. Most parents are not for this change, while a few say either way would be fine. They need to reconsider that. It really, it's not about the buses, it's about the kids. As far as I'm concerned, I really just don't have a problem with it. Either way, I mean, I have a car, I would be able to get mine there if it started later or earlier. Those new proposed bell times will be on the district's website a little later today, and the superintendent says he does not want to implement these changes right away. He wants to wait until 2018 and 2019 just to give families a little bit of wiggle room to be able to figure out daycare, babysitters, things of that nature. And there is a special school board meeting on April 25th. We'll be there, and we'll update you with whatever happens. Gail? Yeah, and, you know, before and after care, that's critical for a lot of parents. So hopefully that's affordable. Thanks, Jana.